everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing another commentary talking about which Elgato Game Capture HD is best for you. So guys for today's video what I decide to do and that's going to be going over the pros and cons of each Elgato Game Capture device. So that way if you actually want to buy one of these capture cards from the things that I'm going to be talking about in today's video you can see which one would be the best for you. So yeah. Also guys if you're enjoying today's video don't forget to leave a like on it down below. Let's see if we can get 10 likes on today's video video that would be absolutely amazing and yeah let's get right into the commentary so guys before i get into the comparison let's just lay down some ground rules so that way there won't be any misunderstandings in today's video for one every single elgato capture card is compatible with the next generation of consoles being the xbox one as well as the ps4 secondly every single one of the elgato game capture hd capture cards records in full 1080p and at least at 30 frames per second thirdly of course i'm not sponsored to make this video as well as if you guys are interested i'm going to be linking down in the description to the Elgato website as well as I'm going to be linking down in the description some reviews of each individual capture card. Also if you're wondering I'm going to be using US dollars for the prices as well as I do not own every single one of these Elgato capture cards. I only own the original one so I don't really have first-hand experience when it comes to most of these capture cards. However I'm just going to be weighing the pros and cons of each capture card and not my own personal experiences with the capture cards that I have not used. So yeah yeah, with all that out of the way, let's actually get right into the commentary. So guys, let's start off with the first one, and that's going to be the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now, this is actually the capture card that I use to record my gameplays, and the gameplay that you're watching on your screen right now is actually recorded with the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now, the pros of this capture card is, depending on the sales, this is the cheapest capture card that you can get for the Elgato. It can easily run you underneath $150 American, and it is a very stable capture card. One big benefit of this capture card and that is it actually has an AV port which means that you can actually record older generations of game consoles so if let's say you want to record the Wii, the GameCube, or even the N64 or the SNES, if they have an AVI port you can record it with this capture card and in my opinion it is a really good capture card and the quality on it is actually very good. Now moving on to the cons of this capture card is it only records in 1080p 30 frames per second which means that compared to all the other capture cards they record in 1080p 60 frames per second it is noticeable and the video quality won't be as smooth if you were to record with let's say the elgato hd60 as well as the bit rate on this capture card is a little bit lower than the other versions of the capture cards which means that if let's say you were to record with this capture card as opposed to some of the newer ones the actual picture quality will look a little bit sharper than this capture card however if you're not really looking for it you won't really notice too much of a difference and overall this is a very good capture card and yeah let's move over to the next one which is the elgato Elgato Game Capture HD 60. Now, if you were to actually see a picture of the Elgato Game Capture HD 60, you would notice that it's actually been significantly overhauled from the original Elgato. Now, this one was actually released in 2014, while the first one was released back in 2011. Now, the benefits of this capture card, as opposed to the original Elgato, and that is, it records in full HD, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now, that was the main selling point of this capture card back when it originally came out. And yeah, another reason why it's actually a bit better than than the other one and that is it actually records in a slightly higher bit rate that means that the video quality is going to be a little bit sharper than the original Elgato game capture. Another thing and that is it's actually cheaper compared to all of the other HD60 variants and yeah some of the downsides of this capture card and that is one as opposed to the original Elgato of course it does not have that AVI port which means you cannot use this Elgato to record older generations of game consoles so that could be a problem however if you just want to record your Xbox One or your PS4, you should not run into a problem with this capture card. I have not ever used this capture card before at the time we are recording this video. However, from all the things I heard of it, a lot of people are very happy with this capture card. And yeah, moving on to the next Elgato product, and that is going to be the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. Now, when it comes to Elgato, this is actually the newest capture card that I released. It came out in early 2016, and a lot of people were very happy with this capture card because, for one, it's a little bit smaller than the HD 60, as well as the usage. USB 3.0 which means that it's a very low latency capture card because if you did not know if you're using the Elgato Game Capture HD the game that you're going to be seeing on your monitor or screen is actually going to be a bit delayed when it's in the Elgato software however with this capture card it's very low latency and you won't really notice a difference that's one of the main selling points of the Elgato HD 60s however some of the downsides is of course it doesn't have that AVI port like the original as well as it's a little bit more expensive than the original HD 
60, which came out in 2014. Overall, the things I heard of this capture card is very good. And let's move on to the last capture card that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And that's going to be the Elgato HD60 Pro. Now, the interesting thing about this Elgato, and that is it's the only Elgato that doesn't work like the traditional ones work. The traditional ones are external capture cards, which means that it will plug into your console and, and it will plug into your PC using USB. Now, this one's actually a little bit different because it uses a PCI port directly into your motherboard. Now, this is actually pretty interesting because this is the only capture card that actually does this. And the good thing about this one, and that is it records in 1080p 60 frames per second at a significantly higher bitrate than the original capture card and a slightly higher bitrate compared to the HD60. Another thing good about this capture card, and that is there is zero latency. And if let's say you have a setup that can support this capture card, it is very good. And a lot of streamers do enjoy using this capture card. Some of the downsides, and that is you have to actually have a setup to use this capture card. You cannot use it with a laptop, as well as it's not very portable because it's directly plugged into your motherboard. So if let's say you go to gaming conventions and you want to record those games, then you can't really bring your PC tower with you to go and capture it. So maybe if you like that, you could buy the HD60S or the HD60. And another downside in that is this is the most expensive Elgato, running about $50 more than the original. And that is of course American dollars. So yeah, guys, I went over every single one of the Elgatos that is currently out as of October 2017. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on down below. Also guys, if you are interested, I'm going to be linking you to a video, which is how to record a live commentary using the Elgato, which is actually my most popular YouTube video at the time of me recording this video. So yeah, that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like as well as subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to click the bell button down below to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that's been it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.